everyone, this is Chris with the US Tech Channel. Uh, I have the AT&T Note 2 in front of me and we're going to manually check for updates so that we can get the, uh, the latest version uh, for this phone that has the uh, multi-view. As you can see on my Android version 4.1.1 right there, I'm going to go settings, about device, software update, check for updates. It says a new software update is available for your device. Uh, this update will occur over Wi-Fi. Please make sure that you stay within Wi-Fi coverage while this download takes place. Could take several minutes. Go ahead and turn on our Wi-Fi connected to my home network right now. Click continue. So it'll say downloading software update. Please uh, leave Wi-Fi coverage area. This update is 178 point nine two megabytes in size all right it took a just a little bit longer to boot up that time so we'll look at the multi view or multi window a little bit more in depth uh, later let's just try to see what version we're on now And it's 4.1.2. Multi window is selected up in the toggles. So if I push back and hold it, it'll come up with the multi window thing on the left. It says to start multi window, window, drag an application from the tray to the main window, then drag another application to the main window to use both at the same time. So here's our list of things. We'll go ahead and drag Internet Explorer on there. Or drag the web browser, sorry. Go back into our multi window and drag uh, Gmail in there as well. As you can see right here, I have two windows open. I can make one smaller, make it bigger. We can switch them around. And then we can go ahead and make one uh, full screen. Here's our list. We can edit it. But like I said, we'll look at this uh, more in another video. And now we constantly have this uh, multi-window tab up in the corner. But for more information about this device and more, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's try to use something that requires a uh, root. Yes, File Explorer. We'll try to go back to root. And as you can see, we can go in system, view our build prop, so we still do have root access.